Hey fam. Welcome back to our channel, Dev Chanel's 48th World, featuring the family affair. Coming to you with a short video that I saw that I had to put out because it was talking about one of our housewives who can't stand in her own shit and who got to leave, make people make her leave, but she called herself allegedly the HBC of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, the queen of the show, but yet she couldn't take what they were giving to her on the reunion and really throughout the whole season of season 12 well y'all we got something else to talk about dailymail.com the uk version brought this out it's all allegedly i guess because it's a part of their uh global gossiping entertainment type segment so we just partaking that's all we doing is partaking and speculating you know she's been hanging out with wendy williams lately and Wendy Williams have her little boy toys and this, that, and the third. So I'm thinking, it's Wendy Williams, Nene, giving you digs on how to have an affair on Greg Leaks just because he allegedly may have had one on you. I know Marlo know the tea, and I know Kara Hoogler, Hoogler or whatever her name is on Potomac. I know y'all been hanging out too. But yes, that's the gentleman off to your right on the screen if you're looking at it from left to right, right to left. He's the one on the right. Don't he look like Dr. Dre? <laughs> that man look like Dr. Dre and he looking kind of suspect. Meaning it looks like he may be a little on the sweet side or bisexual. I'm just saying. Now Greg, he look like a full-blown G. Always been a G, been a man, okay? And then he liked him when he was in his heyday, his younger days. Now he can't do too much uh or anything now so now you need to go get something and someone else to partake of nene literally are you kidding me i guess the italian man of a uh new jersey man didn't do it for you but you don't change your whole look your whole demeanor you trying to go back into your 20s well we can always wish <laughs> but from what i understand and, and reading the other vloggers that brought up this little salacious uh slanderous story scandalous as in my prince voice talking about you and me marvelous I say, say, can't you see? But that's Prince, okay? But yeah, I know Marlo, no, because she was trying to talk about it during season 12 about being happy and this, that, and third. And then he, you know, excuse me, was talking about she was happy. And that was the guy that Kenya had said they was having sex with the same man. That was that man sitting at the table. And he caught himself flirting with her and Marlo was messing with him. I don't too much believe that, you know. He probably liked to sell some black women, but they probably weren't going to give. Well, hell, Marlo probably would have been giving it up, you know what I'm saying? Because she go dollars for, you know, a little bit of other French benefits, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I'm like, girl, just because allegedly, and that's, by the way, Layla, Layla Lynn. She, you go check out her channel. She's a big-time blogger here. I think she lives in Atlanta, too. I'm not really sure, but, yeah, she does a lot of blogging Um of entertainment gossip news check her out tell the Dale Chanel's four days we're featuring the family affair sent you all over there but yes honey I'm like Nina are you trying to get Greg back because he had a little indiscretion on you and he had sworn he hadn't did anything they just pretty much was having pillow talk on the telephone and you know just entertaining each other uh while you were doing your thing in LA New York Maryland 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 because you down there seeing rotten and white okay allegedly because we don't know but a lot of big vloggers have been putting it out so it must be where they said it's smoke there's fire it might be some okay maybe then he's trying to get Greg back from messing with Miss Lady over there okay yes that's the one Greg was supposed to be allegedly cheating on Nene with allegedly okay behind closed doors since Nene was flying everywhere jet setting and leaving him at home he had nobody to talk to so he had to go find somebody that would take up time for time with him I should say so I'm like go on Nene with your bad self but wouldn't it be nice if you just go on and call it quits with Greg and then go on and live your best life 50 on out and sitting there fooling around with this man looking half suspect and they say uh what the vlog people been saying bloggers they said the man ain't had he had nothing to do with you he knew you way back when and didn't want you 
and you were just a, a plain Jane running around here or Georgette or however you want to see yourself. Okay, nay, nay. And he didn't want you. But now you in the right limelight. You hanging around other celebrities. He wants to come and toot your boat or uh, float your boat, as we say. Yeah, that gentleman right there. He's supposed to be the director of some agriculture defense team or hell i don't know and it, it really doesn't matter because i didn't know about him until they brought this scandalous story out that then he's supposed to be messing with him but yeah daily um uh, mail news brought this one out guys i'm like yeah that's kind of a blurry picture of him but yeah that's supposed to be him and um Nene's uh, little lover back in Maryland where she called herself putting another storefront out there or leasing space for her brand name Swag, okay? Yeah, and they said he had accompanied her to want to watch what happened live in the Cohen shows. Excuse me, that she was taping back in the day. You know, when season 12 was rolling, I guess. So, in other words, Nene is feeling herself, feeling herself. In my Beyonce voice, she's feeling herself, feeling herself. So, and she's feeling this man. And this all come through way of Daily Mail. But let's get on into the article and see what it says. And let's explore this a little bit much, a little bit further. But Dan Hetchin is the one for DailyMail.com that wrote up this article. He titled it, Nene Leaks is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a male family friend who appears to love the limelight. I'm like, what do you think, people? What do you think, fam? What? what? I'm kind of confused. Were they friends before her and Greg got married? Were they friends after her and Greg got married? What kind of friends? Because if we knew about him, shouldn't we know about him? Shouldn't he been featured in the Real Housewives of Atlanta at some point in time? I'm just saying. But anyway, it goes in to saying Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes have been implicated in an inappropriate relationship with someone outside of her marriage, according to page six. That's another uh, vlogging uh internet as well as um other magazines i guess page six have their own gossip column entertainment column out there so they're going way of them but i guess putting their own spin on it as well but it says that several sources have implicated leaks 52 has been involved with the director at the united states department of agriculture by the name of my rodney white while her marriage to grid leaks continues to be on the rocks and i'm like girl Mala should have told us t but when y'all were doing that behind the scenes with andy cohen and they were interviewing for bravo for the season 12 taping honey Marla was trying to drop some tea to us but we weren't paying a pen. We weren't paying too much of attention, friends, family. We weren't paying too much attention. But now it all kind of makes sense, all right? Because um, um, Marlo was pretty much saying that it was just puppy love. It was just a little fling. It was really nothing. Why she's so happy? And she was trying to implicate Nene, but they weren't gonna let it come to pass. We pretty much had to figure it out. And if it went over some of y'all heads, it's okay. Cause I it went over my head too, and I had to come back and rethink that thing. Okay. When other sources prior to this one coming up now was saying that Nene was having a lustrous affair out there in Maryland and, you know, playing uh, footsies with this man behind Greg back. But I'm like, is she putting it out in public like that? She wanted Greg to see that. That wasn't in no hiding there because <laughs> people going to talk and vloggers do. Uh, such as the paparazzi, they go and follow everybody that they deem are celebrities. So, I had to get that yarn out, y'all, because I'm tired, but I just had to come with this story. I had to come with it, okay, because I just wanted to give y'all something to sleep on and, and be able to talk to me about it in them comments uh, tomorrow, okay? Once y'all had y'all lunch break or whatever, y'all just need, you know, endless time to just sit there and fill your head with endless drama and me rambling on about this subject. And if you feel like partaking in, dropping comments here and there, go ahead and do so. Just be respectful. Okay. But then the guy's name is Rodney White. And it says, uh, according to one source, Nene and Rodney, 54, has been reportedly been family friends for quite a while from before her rise to stardom. So I'm family friends. When? Nene, family friends in high school, family friends, you know, when you were in your 20s, 30s. It's not really making it clear 
honey. But it was a friendship prior to you becoming on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, from what I'm understanding. But this man didn't give you the uh, time of day. Apparently, the pair have been spending more time together for the past number of years since 2017 and have been spotted out on numerous occasions. Now, my what my thing is, okay, where are they getting all this information from? Is Nene dropping this tea for us to think that there's really a relationship going on or... You know, or her and Greg is solid as we think it is after his little twat of an affair that he called himself having with this young lady. I don't know. Maybe she's trying to play the get back with the get back and trying to clout back that way. I don't know. But going back to the article, it said they were even spotted during the time that Greg, now 66, was at the height of his battle with colon cancer last year. Okay, when we all know Nene was acting kind of funky in season 11, and I was at 10 when Greg had the bout with cancer. He was just going through, and, you know, he was making it all about himself, which you know how men are. When they get sick, sometimes they act like women. They just whine, whine, whine. But uh, he was pretty much uh, Nene's storyline for season, I think, 10 or 11. Maybe it's both of them, 10 and 11. And then... um maybe uh for season 13 nini's supposed to bring in this affair you know what i'm saying because she did and season 12 was talking about an open marriage so i'm like did it come for, to fruition did she have a play heyday and now they're just dealing with the consequences afterwards okay of these unresolved feelings between you me and he what we gonna do baby okay that's what i'm saying but going back to the article it says people close to him have said that it's all about the lifestyle a source told the publication if it wasn't for that he wouldn't give her the time of day because he didn't before when she was a nobody he knew her before she became the nini leaks that she is today and before the multiple surgeries to change her looks yes that man right there mm-hmm. that's 52 talking about he liking on nini he loving on nini oh child okay then going back to the article, it says he loves the limelight. Another source says of white. He loves to have the red copy rolled out. He feels like he's a celebrity. He's that type of person. I'm like, how's he a celebrity? He's just dealing in political issues when it comes to the out the food products, I guess, being FDA approved for human consumption. I mean, what what what, what red copy he's trying to be rolled out? Unless it's amongst his colleagues. Now, if he's talking about the line light, he don't have no kind of talent, no skills, no entertainment skills. Like, is he a writer? Is he a producer? You know, is he an entertainer? So, what red copy is going to be rolled out for him? <laughs> Child, please. Okay. And it would be too scandalous for Nene to come out and bring him to my award show. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, where were Greg at? Where were, where, where, where were Greg? Okay, aren't y'all still married? Married? Or y'all, do y'all have an open marriage y'all didn't tell us about? Y'all bringing y'all significant others that don't happen to be your wife or your husband? Child, please. I don't know what Nene doing. It could just be for ratings because I don't see any love that could possibly be between them two. I mean, they they definitely look like not a match i can tell you that but look at the pictures again of them together and y'all tell me do they look like they're a romantic match or is it just a one night stand type thing and nini just couldn't give him up because he really don't look like he could be into nini and he looks so much like dr dre y'all get in them comments if y'all think he look like dr dre because he sure do but anyway uh it goes back we go back to the article and it says in November, Rodney posted a photo of himself at the Watch What Happens Live the same day Nene appeared on the late night talk show of one 2019 sighting of the pair uh, in Florida. A source said they were all over each other. They were touching each other, laughing, giggling, kissing, but it wasn't like they were full-blown slobbing each other down. I don't think she was trying to hide it. Of course not. Is she out in public? Kissing, huggling, giggling. That's just like first time lovers or first time romantic, you know, get togethers that y'all so happy to see each other. You know, y'all exciting each other up. I don't know what y'all think. Is it a yes or a no? Is this man really into her? Or he not? What y'all think? Looking like Dr. Dre. Okay. Then going back to the article, it says another witness reported at the time she was all over this guy, kissing, cuddling, huddling. 
holding, sitting on his lap. And then he trying to give a lap dance. Milo, did you teach her how to do lap dances, girl? Come here. Come here. Come here. But anyway, it says the same source even goes so far as to allege that Nene's fellow housewives know of her ongoing dialysis with White. Okay. If anybody know, Marlo should know. And that's what this article is telling us. Marlo uh, knows who this man is. Cynthia Bailey knows who this man is. I'm pretty thinking, shoot, if even Marcel in this article says she has seen them together, then why she ain't tell Greg nothing? Okay. Why she tell Greg about these comings and goings? Don't nobody like Greg no more? They more loyal to Nene than Greg? Mm. Okay. Then we go back to the article. It says, as yet another source claims Rodney and Nene has also been seen together in Maryland. On his since-deleted Instagram account, White posted several photos at the MGM National Harbor Resort and Casino in Oxon Hill, Maryland, where Nene opened a boutique that her husband Greg managed. Okay, well, okay, women well, in Maryland. How Greg gonna manage a boutique up in Maryland? Shouldn't he be in Atlanta resting, carrying on? Child, please. Might be an open marriage, y'all. Might be an open marriage. Uh, but going back to the article, it says on this March page six published a source claim that Nene flaunts her relationship with White around openly like they're together. She spends a lot of time in Maryland, not only because of this boutique, but also because of White. Daily Mail has reached out to Leaks reps and is awaiting a response. Meanwhile, Greg and Nene Leaks, who has previously mentioned her support of the concept of open marriages, have had their share of ups and downs in their own union. Own, uh, excuse me, their own union. They first married in 1997 and only to get divorced in 2001. Then they remarried in 2013, but six years later, the Bravo reality star revealed that they were once again considering ending the marriage. The pair shared one son together, Brent Leakes, who was 21 years old. Um, so you just pretty much, they ended it by saying, share a comment on this article. Is Nene Leakes uh, alleging involved in a extra matter of fair to the sources? Okay, don't know. Don't know. Intriguing. Intriguing. That's exactly what it is. Told you be hanging around that doggone uh, <laughs> Wendy Williams. She had you out and, and, and floating in every type of circle. Making it seem like you need to leave your marriage because life is not that... Um, you know, easy anymore. You want to be free. I want to be free. Yes, uh, you can't be free. You marry. You need to stick to your marriage. You getting old, Greg old, and y'all need to be looking at retiring. Don't let this man come in your life and try to ride that limelight of what little you have left. Because right now you looking like a whoo. Uh oh, uh, what do you call that thing? Humpty Dumpty fell out the wall. Hump, got on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Out of King Horses, out of command, couldn't put Humpty back together again, honey. When you left that reunion, that's what we were looking at you like Humpty Dumpty. Like, are you kidding me, Lily? Are you killing, killing, ugh, killing me, Nene? Kidding and killing me at the same time. Girl, we, ooh, I stomped on your HBIC queen a crown last night. Well, not last night, but Sunday night when I watched that foolishness that you walked out and then gonna call somebody wanted to have on your terms how you want to conclude the interview of the uh third part of the reunion of season 12 like nene please 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 all right that's a bunch of mess but family that's the video i had out for you all to partake of for y'all to tell me what y'all thought y'all think nene having a fair girl so did you know uh, this past Memorial Day weekend and family too. They had over 43k cases of COVID. Uh huh. Sure did. So see, don't let these folk fool y'all. Talking about it's going down. Uh uh. Them COVID cases are going up. So those who got sense, hey, if you got, if you can't stay home, what do you say? If you can stay home, if you can't mask up. What is it? Hot damn, I had it going. It's a little slogan we got here going on in Atlanta. It says, stay home if you can. If you can't, mask up. What did it say, Austin? Mm -hmm. God, dog. I'm trying to get it right for y'all. 
Stay home if you can. If you can't. Mask up. Hell, I can't get it right this time, y'all. <laughs> but as I'm riding, as I'm riding, I have it on the new uh, radio station. I let y'all know. Killer Mike had brought it out. Damn. If you can't, if, if you can't stay home, mask up. Shit, I can't get it, y'all. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Maybe I know my next video. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, don't let y'all don't don't be fooled. These cases are still riding high and strong out there. So people that want to live and don't want to give up their time to willing is gonna be their time to leave this earth. Y'all better sit still. Y'all better roll steady and, and and quarantine yourselves until next year and see what comes up. All right, cause they ain't got no cure for this vaccine, and the one they trying to sit up there and, and work on, shoot, that might take you on out the world for real. But y'all get out in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. Is Nene is Nene leaks fooling around girls, boys? Uh, what is she doing out there? She looking a hot mess to me. But anyway, it just is what it is. These folks gonna do what they want to do, and people like such as myself gonna talk about it if I choose to. Okay, but anyway. Get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought. And I will see y'all next video. But prior to that, remember to comment as always. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. All right. Peace and blessings. Night, night.